Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of the online slope pen. So let's dive into it. All right, so this is uh, the original packaging that the online pen comes in. It has a nice cutout of online. Now I will admit that the pen has been taken apart because part of why I bought it is I was looking at using it as a, well, as a parts pen for a different pen, but it didn't work out that way. So let's see how it works. Uh, so inside, comes with all of this, which, like I said, normally would have been assembled. Comes with a cartridge, which should be a familiar shape. Here's a, oops, upside down. Here's a cartridge by Lamy. So, yeah, they, they're using the Lamy shape. Uh, I won't be using the cartridge at this point, so we'll set that aside. But it does come with a nice converter, which is the part I was really wanting to use. And apparently it is a German brand. <clears throat> so, that's the packaging. Let's in dust too. If it's been sitting on your desk for over a year. Alright, so, <laughs> let's assemble the parts. So, the converter just slips in there. It's not a... not does isn't one that turns in or anything. But one thing I found interesting right here on the section it's almost like there's a little locking mechanism I'm not sure what's meant to lock into it because there's no pin on the cartridge or, or on the converter or on the cartridge but anyway there we go so what you end up with is actually not a bad looking pen uh, I like this uh, clip you know it kind of does the Lamy thing but it's a uh, I don't know this bit here just makes it look a little classier um, but yeah, nice looking clip. On the top here it says Online Germany. Uh, the other finial is nothing. And it's, you know, faceted barrel and the facets get a nice little twist. You know, for a low cost pen, that's not bad. It has that same deal with the Lamy grip to kind of force a tripod. And the nib is, I gotta pull it closer to my eye so I can read it. Okay, the nib is branded online. So you already saw the converter that comes with it, so let's ink it up with, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe some Parker Quink washable blue. <clears throat> the nib is small enough, even though my ink level is getting low, it just fits in there. Decent fill for the first time here, but we'll do it two or three more times here just to get a good full fill. There. Now we're cooking. As far as I know, it's just an online pen, so that's what I'm going to call it. Seems to be kind of wet, but then again, I also just filled it. Uh, nib size says on the nib a medium so we'll go with that um, I wouldn't panic yet about the hard starts you know I just filled it ink needs time to get all those places inside of the pen so the ink is Parker Quink washable blue Uh, first test I always like to do is uh, for flex. Now I'm not going to push this pen very hard because I don't do that for this test. Uh, no, no flex in this pen. And at this price point, I really didn't expect any. Uh, I think there's a little bit of line variation to it, though. You know, it, it is making a nice line. Wetness and flow. I think that's a pretty wet writer. Whoops. Just hit my head on my light. <laughs> uh, smear test. I'm finding myself, and I don't know if it's because of the awkward way I sit when I do these reviews to be under the camera, but I am finding myself holding it a little higher than these grippy things here. 
So pretty wet. Reverse writing. Um, kind of an extra fine and it digs into the paper a little bit. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. I think it did just fine. So that was the online slope pen. Uh, I've had some comments since I filmed the writing impression or the writing sample that it's a weird name and yeah. I guess as weird as Senator Regent or Senator President. You know, they, they call it Online Slope. Uh, online, I suppose, is a reference to the modern world. Uh, slope, I don't know, I'm looking at it. I'm trying to figure out. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, it's, it's a comfortable pen to hold. Um, I don't mind the triangular grip. And I, I'm worried about the longevity of the rubbery stuff on the grip because I've had some pens where that falls apart. But, you know, I haven't had the pen long enough to know. Um, I will say I wrote with the pen. I didn't hate it. I won't say I loved it. It was not... It, it, the, the longer I had it inked up, the more I just thought... Uh, because I had other pens that were more interesting to write with. This one just, you know, when it finally ran dry, it just went unremarked and I washed it. And, uh, you know, it's been sitting out there in the kitchen where I wash my pens and uh, haven't thought about it till I like, oh yeah, I guess it's time to put, publish the video because, uh, you know, my whole survey I did. So, uh, video published. Well, not published yet. <laughs> It'll be published by the time you see this. But, yeah, I just, um, meh, whatever. Uh, I, I've been accumulating a selection of pens to either give away or sell, and sorry to say, this one's on it. It, it just doesn't thrill me in any particular way. I've got good everyday writers. I've got good pens of all sorts, and this just isn't it. Uh, one test I always like to do, maybe this will turn the tide for me. Whoops, pocket test, which... It is failing right now. I do have to go at this pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if I've had to work this hard. Holy snikes. Oh, and now I know why. I don't remember if I noticed this during the writing sample. Maybe go rewind and look at it. There's a little nubbin under the clip. Like right at the end of the clip. Like right here. That's why I had a little struggle there to get it on my shirt. I actually had to physically lift the clip up to make it fit on my shirt. And I don't know what function that little nubbin serves. Um, so, yeah, that demoted it further on my list. Not a bad pen, just not one I'm particularly thrilled with. So, you know, it may be your kind of thing. It just really isn't mine. So, anyway, hope that was useful. Hope that was interesting. And, well, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.